the man accused of killing three children and two women in a Modesto home over the weekend could be back in Modesto today. And KCR 3's Brian Hickey joining us live from the home uh, for more on what we're learning about the victims as well as that suspect. Brian. Yeah, and outside the home here where this horrific crime took place, you can see people have been dropping off some candles, some flowers, cards, and the home now, uh, the investigation done here as Modesto police work to bring their prime suspect back here to Modesto. His name, 30 year old Martin Martinez. He was arrested Sunday in San Jose, accused in the murder of five people, including a former lover and their daughter. Modesto police followed several leads, prompting them to alert San Jose police that Martinez might be heading in their direction early. Sunday, an officer spotted Martinez walking back to a car at a San Jose mall and arrested him without incident, according to their report. Martinez is accused of killing two adult women and three girls at the home here in Modesto, the young girls ranging in age from six months to six years old. One woman was identified by relatives as Dr. Amanda Cruz, who was once in a relationship with Martinez. The couple had a six month old daughter together. She's among the victims. The bodies were discovered Saturday after police were asked to make a welfare check at the Knob Hill Court home. Cruz, six year old daughter Elizabeth was also among the dead, according to a relative. The third child is said to be a family friend who was over for a visit before they were to go to the fair. The second adult woman's identity has not been released. Everyone here remembering Dr. Cruz as a woman who not only made her patients feel comfortable, but made them feel like a friend. She didn't just come in and ask you what was wrong. She just, she took the time and sat with you and, you know, and asked you. How are you doing? She got to know us like a friend instead of a physician. The police have not released a motive in the case, but reaffirmed to the upset neighbors that this appears to be an isolated incident. For now, we are waiting on official confirmation of the deceased from the coroner's office and word of when Martinez will be brought back to Modesto to answer the five charges of murder. At this point, we don't have an exact idea of whether it be today or later this week, but we do know he's in a Santa Clara County jail where he's being held right now, waiting that extradition back here to Modesto. We've also learned in the meantime that Dr. Cruz also had a two year old son who died. Within the last year, he was in the care of Martinez at the time when he slipped into a coma, something that relatives are calling suspicious. Live here in Modesto, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News.